Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a proxy server using Squid Proxy on Windows Server running on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Squid Proxy cache. So from this product page, simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose a zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type of the virtual machine according to your requirements and also choose the disk space for your requirements. And then you can leave the network settings as default and then accept the agreement and click on deploy. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to your virtual machine using an RDP connection. For that, simply click on this hamburger icon and then click on compute engine. Now from this page, what you're going to do is that you're simply going to click this arrowhead right next to RDP and then click on set windows password. Basically you want to set the credentials for the administrator account of your windows server so that we can connect to it using an RDP connection. So give yourself a username and then click on set. And then you would have to wait for a little while for the password to be shown to you. Once you get this password, copy it and place it somewhere safe. And then what you want to do is that you want to hit windows and search for remote desktop connection. And in the computer field, you're simply going to paste in the external IP address of your virtual machine and then click on show options. And in here, you're going to pass in the username and then click on connect. After that, you would be prompted to type in the password. So provide the password that you got from Google and then click on OK. After that, it is going to prompt you that you are trying to connect to a remote host. So click yes and wait for the connection to be established. And once the connection has been established, wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the next step is to simply click on this Squid Server tray icon on the desktop. Now this is going to show the Squid Server tray icon over here. So right click on it and then click on open squid configuration. Now in this configuration file, you can configure your squid cache proxy. So this ACL stands for access control list and all of these IPs are the one that you allow to use your virtual machine as a proxy. Now in case you want to add in a new IP address or maybe the IP address of a client, then you would have to simply type in ACL and then a group name. Basically this local net means that the name of this group is local net and once you want to allow all of the IPs under a certain group name, you would simply use local net. So you can provide a different group name if you like, but I'm just going to go with local net. And then the keyword SRC. Now this SRC simply means source. After this, you are simply going to type in the IP address that you want to allow. So simply type that IP address over here. And then you want to make sure that the group name of this IP address is enabled. For that, simply scroll down and come to this line which says HTTP underscore access and allow. And after that you can see that local net is already enabled. But in case you have given your IP address a separate group name, then what you would want to do is that you would type in HTTP underscore access space allow space the group name. However, once you're done with that, what you want to do is that you want to save this configuration file, exit from it and then restart the service of squid. For that come to the tray icon and click on stop squid server. And once that is done, you want to restart or start the Squid service. And then you're done on your virtual machine side. The next step is to actually configure the proxy settings on the client side. So open up the proxy settings and then you want to turn on this option that says use a proxy server. And you want to give the address or the IP address of your virtual machine. Now to get the IP address, simply head back to console.google and copy the external IP from here and then paste that over in this address field and make sure that the port number is set to 3128 because this is the port number on which squid is listening. Once that is done, simply hit save and exit. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up squid proxy server. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.